Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on simple stresses and strain. So let's get started. Here we have a question that two copper rods and one steel rod together support a load as shown in figure. The diagram is given. Here we can see at both the ends we have copper rod having diameter 40 mm and in between them we have a single steel rod having diameter 50 mm. If the stresses in copper and steel are not to exceed 75 Newton per mm square that is the stress in copper and this is the stress in steel 150. Find the safe load that can be supported. We have to find how much load copper and steel are carrying which is the safe load value. So this P is the unknown. Here we have to take E suffix S that is Young's modulus of steel twice that of copper as it is given into the problem. So let's get started with the solution part. Now in the solution, I'll find the cross sectional area for both the rods. The cross sectional area of steel is pi by 4 d square. The diameter of steel is given as 50 mm as we can see over here and for copper it is 40. Area of steel the answer is 1.96 10 raised to 3. Similarly. Here I have multiplied with 2 because we have 2 copper rods as shown into the diagram and the value of diameter is 40. Area of copper is 2.51 into 10 raised to 3 mm square. Now once both the areas are known, the next condition which I would be using here is since both of them are sharing the same load and here we can see that the length of both the rods are different. Copper rod are having length of 200 mm whereas the steel rod is having a length of 300 mm. So in that case here the deflections would be different in or here the deflection value would be same in both the rods because they are carrying the same load. So I'll write down the condition. Deflection in steel is equal to the deflection in copper carrying the same load. So therefore deflection is denoted by delta L for steel and here we have for copper. So therefore deflection is given by the formula PL upon AE. P upon A is stress, so I'll write down this is stress in steel, length of steel upon the Young's modulus of steel and here we have P upon A for copper. So here P upon A for copper denoted as sigma suffix C, length of copper upon the Young's modulus of copper. So here I would be getting the relation of sigma s and sigma c. So I will keep sigma c on one side. E s would go on to the other side. So it is E s upon E c. Already L c is over here. So L suffix s would go into the denominator. And this is sigma c. So therefore putting all the values here. The Young's modulus for steel and copper. It is given in the problem. The relation is ES is twice of EC. So therefore from this I can say that the ES upon EC is equal to 2. So ES upon EC is 2. The length of copper rod is 200 mm whereas steel rod is 300 mm in length. 
and so the answer comes out to be 1.33 sigma c i'll keep it as equation number 1 now what are the values which we have to use for that we can check it over here i'll just explain it because in the problem both the stresses are given 75 newton per mm square this is the stress in copper so first i'll take let the stress in copper which is 75 newton per mm square and in the second condition i am going to take the stress in steel which is given 150 newton per mm square this step has to be followed when the stresses are given in the problem and out of that we have to select any one stress depending upon the condition which i am going to explain here like if we keep sigma c as 75 and put the value over here sigma s would be the answer is 99.75 newton per mm square and this value of sigma s is less than the given value given value is 150 so this is less than sigma s permissible hence this sigma c value is safe now i would be checking sigma s when we keep sigma s as 150 in this relation sigma c value comes out to be 112.78 newton per mm square now this value of sigma c is way greater than the value given in the problem which is 75 that is sigma c permissible so hence your sigma s value because of taking it as 150 newton per mm square the condition is leading to failure because sigma c value we are getting it above the limit so from both the conditions in the further part of the problem we are going to solve it by taking sigma c value throughout and not taking sigma s because that is exceeding the given limit so i use the first condition here that is deflection is same the second condition is total load is equal to load shared by steel plus load shared by copper so therefore the total load is denoted by p load shared by steel is p suffix s plus p suffix c for copper so therefore load is stress into area for both the materials it is stress into area stress is load upon area so therefore load is stress into area now total load is what we have to find out in this problem sigma c i am going to replace it in place of that it would be 1.33 sigma c because here throughout we have to keep the value in the form of sigma c because that is the safe value sigma c is 75 and the area of steel we had calculated previously the value was 1.96 10 raised to 3 area of concrete 2.51 area of copper it is into 10 raised to 3 so from this i am getting the total load value and my answer comes out to be 383.76 into 10 raised to 3 newton or 383.76 kilonewton that's the final answer it means the total load which is kept here it is 383.76 kN which is shared by both the material that is steel and copper so this was the question and here is the solution of that at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching